Hey everybody, um, I like over 80,000 pies here with another vi with a video, my first video of Diary of a Kid Dog Days book review. So, it's a good book, um, it's the fourth in the series of the Diary of a Kid books. It's the only book that I think that takes place in the summer, and it's just a great book all in all, and, you know, it's just a great book. Um, what happens on it is just a bunch of random adventures through, um, Greg Heffley, the wimpy kid, um, one of the adventures I can think of off the top of my head is that him and Raleigh, his friend, go to the beach and Raleigh's family doesn't have any video games or electronics or anything like that, so they have to entertain themselves with board games and charades and stuff like that. But Greg doesn't want to do that, so he has a plan when Mr. Heffley, or not Mr. Jefferson, Raleigh's father, um, is on his computer, he'll just look at it. Look at it and look at it while he's doing business work. That is pretty pathetic, Greg. Um, so my, and on, also on that adventure, uh, also on that adventure, Greg, uh, Greg and Raleigh do this thing that, um, Greg's brother taught them. You go under the boardwalk, literally under the boardwalk, and you put a dollar up and, you su and make some suckers try and get it, and then you pull the dollar back down, and you get some trouble for that, and... It's just basically a fun book if you're a little kid or a kid any age between maybe uh, 5, 6, 7 to 10, or even up 12. It's a, it's not a children's book. It's not like it's not like Cat in the Hat, but it's also not like Harry Potter. It's in the middle. It's necessa not necessarily a chapter book, but it, you could file it in the chapter section of a library. Um, so that's basically my review of Diary of a Kid Dog Days book review. See you guys next time on I... I like over 80,000 pounds.